everyone. I'm Jenna Sackett with Stalls TV. There's an old quote by, Anna, by Maya Angelou that goes, pursue the things you love doing and do them so well that everyone can't take their eyes off of you. With that being said, I'd like you to ask yourselves, what do I love doing? Now, if your answer involves your, a few of your hobbies and not your nine to five job that you do every day, um, then it may be time to consider doing your hobby for a full-time or part-time job. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about um, some of the ways that you can turn your hobby into a full-time job by going over some sales strategies or um, some ways to uh, grow capacity with uh, some of your equipment or ways to um, print more apparel at once and also go over some top trends and markets that will grow your customer base by offering really hot trends to new people. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, you guys answered a poll that said that uh, most of you own a heat press. So this is basically going to be based off of just owning a heat press. If you guys own a vinyl cutter, great. You're already ahead of the game. Um, but if you own a heat press, that's awesome. So um, let's start off with one of the things that you can start to sell and offer to people that's going to help grow a good customer base. And one thing that would be is children apparel, so selling onesies. Um, any parent, sister, aunt, any family member, including friends, loves buying children apparel to be able to show off their little ones. Um, and I'm one of them. I'm an aunt of a few nephews and nieces, and I love just going after something that's definitely going to be like, oh, she's the best aunt ever. She got me this awesome shirt. So um, I'm going to start off by... Um, showing you how to print a onesie. So we're going to head over to the heat press. Okay. I'm going to change our view here over to the heat press also. Okay, so we're going to start off uh, by changing our platen uh, to an 8 by, or a 6 by 10. And this is just going to help us with being able to thread our onesie on there a lot easier. Um, that way, you won't have to worry about trying to um, have uneven pressure with these seams popping up. So being able to thread this is going to be a lot easier for you when printing your designs. OK, so we're going to make sure our seam is off of there. So, okay, just going to take our design, okay, heat press real quick. And the design is um, a little bit bigger than the onesie, but it's okay. Um, that's why this platen is great. It's e it makes it easy for you to um, spin the onesie around just to make sure you're getting the entire design applied. Our glitter flake um, applies at 320 degrees for 15 seconds. As you can see, I forgot to change my seconds down, but I was able to count down with the press and enough time to get it off. So we'll just change that down to 15 seconds real quick. Okay. Now I'm just going to attack this down for a couple more seconds just to ensure that we got that one edge completely applied because we did the rest for a full 15 already. Okay. So here is our finished design on the onesie. And I know what you guys are thinking. Um, why would you choose children apparel? Um, it's not something that you have to do, but it's just one of the things that is really great for uh, getting your name out there. And it's just something that's a really popular buy with a lot of people. Uh, so just adding like a cute little quote on there, maybe even happy birthday, anything that's uh, gonna catch um, a parent or aunt, 
anything that's really going to catch their eye and say, oh, I like really want to buy that for um, uh, my niece or nephew, if it was obviously a different color for your nephew. Um, but another good thing about this is if you ever have logged on to like Facebook or Etsy, maybe um, even Pinterest, which are just a three popular social networks where you can sell and really get your name out there. Um, you can go and like just search in the search bar onesies or children apparel. And that's just, it just shows how easy it is just to like get your name out there because if you would go and log on to Etsy and go into the search box and type in onesies, I mean, you'll just see a ton of like online shops that are just offering a ton of these. And that's just one option you can do to just go the next level and really just get your product out there on the line. So with that being said, there's a lot of things that you can package with onesies, like tutus or bow ties or hair bows. So with hair bows being said, that's another really good opportunity to bring to your business. Um, I know you're thinking it's crazy to think that you could do an entire business just based off of hair bows, but once you hear the profit, you won't be surprised. So um, you can do a lot of different hair bows. Um, one that you can do is a pinwheel bow by customizing this with like a monogram or anything to maybe even match a onesie. Um, this is just something you could package with a onesie, but you can also just sell this by itself. It's only $2 and some change if you're doing like a full color glitter hair bow. Um, it's just some change to be able to put some glitter in the middle of the bow and customize it with a monogram. And you can sell these for $15 or more. So you can see how much of a profit you're getting out of just one hair bow. Now, if you're packaging this together with a onesie, you'd be able to sell the two of these together for $30 or more. Okay, so um, there's a, a few other different hair bows that you can actually focus on in your business. Um, another one being a spirit wear bow. Now, I'm sure a few of you are pretty familiar with that if you're ever on Etsy and you're typing in hair bows. I'm sure a lot of spirit wear bows are popping up where cheerleaders or dancers from dance schools are just showing off their colors or um, anything like that in their hair really big. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, with that being said, I'm going to show you how you can actually get this look. So this is one of the spirit wear bows where they wear them really high up on their head so they can show off that they belong to a cheerleading squad or to a dance school. Uh, this is just a single color. I'm going to be showing you how you can actually print a two color design. Um, now, a lot of you may have seen where you can actually take our white glitter flake and sublimate it to um, get like a full color glitter design. Um, and there's actually another video on Stalls TV if you want to refer to that. Uh, and you can see some of the different looks that you can get just by taking a sublimated transfer um, and applying it to white glitter flake. So you can get something like this that you see here just for a hair bow. So I'm just going to show you how to tie one. Be sure to uh, refer back to Stalls TV to see that other bow uh, for the sublimation. And then um, It'll actually show you how you can tie it and everything, but every and all you'll need for the bow that I'm going to show you to is just a strip of glitter flake and a 28 inch long ribbon by three inches. So you can find this at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure a few of you have either have heard of Hobby Lobby or been there. I go there and get lost there for hours, but um, you can find this at Hobby Lobby or even Walmart. So we'll head back over to the heat press and I'll show you how to heat press this ribbon. <coughs> okay, so we're going to change our platen back over to the 16 by 20. Uh, you're going to want a larger platen for this just so you have more of a lead way for printing such a long piece of ribbon. Just click that in there. So it's pretty simple. You're just going to lay your ribbon right on the platen. We're going to do one half at a time. That way it makes it a little easier for pressing. Just get my ribbon to stay on there. Okay. 
And you're actually going to want to um, just line this up as best as possible. So it's actually not as hard as you would think to line up because the tacky carrier, as soon as you have these edges line up, the tacky carrier actually will hold it down in place. So we're good to go with that. Just gonna grab our cover sheet and press this down. Again, glitter flake applies at 15 seconds at 320 degrees. Okay, we're all set up. We're just gonna peel our carrier from that. This is a hot pill, so you won't have to wait for it to cool or anything. Okay, and we're gonna switch it over to the other side and do our next color. Um, actually chose to do a two color design just because it adds a little more profitability. If you're gonna be doing anything for like schools, um, for cheerleading squads, maybe a cheerleading gym or an, a dance school where you're going to be selling to customers who have more than just one color involved when repping what they may be involved in. So you'll see why I chose these colors. I'm actually going to be packaging them. You can see just an option for packaging them together um, and see how much profit that will add also. I'm just gonna be putting it with a shirt and a um, bag for you to see just some of the different options that you can do. Okay. All right, so let's head back over to the table and I'll show you how you can tie this. So, what we're gonna do is take the strip of ribbon that we just heat applied and put it face down. This is just going to uh, make it a lot easier for you uh, whenever you're turning it over and being able to line it up a little better. Um, let me move some stuff out of the way so you can see. Okay, so we're going to put it face down and we're just gonna be making an X with it. So we're gonna be taking this piece over and taking the other piece and bringing it over top of the one that was just applied. So you can see the X there. Okay. So next step, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the center of the top and the bottom and just bunch them together. So you're gonna be doing this. And there's your finished look. Well, you're not finished yet, but you can see once we tie the center, just how easy that was to put together. So um, I typically use craft wire to hold the center together. Um, it leaves a little bit of leadway for messing with the loops and the tails of the bow, just to ensure that you're gonna have enough room. Um, a lot of people recommend using zip ties. It's something that I haven't tried yet, but um, something that has been recommended me several times, so I would I uh, definitely recommend that to you also. So I'm just going to take this craft wire and hold the center of the bow together like this. Okay, so the next step would be to apply our um, hair tie, and that's actually what's going to put everything together for them to wear in their hair. So let me get if your craft wire isn't working, there are other options such as zip ties or thread. Uh, thread is a little harder to work with, but it's my last resort here, so we're gonna try it. Um, again, just bunch the center and take the thread and just wrap it around until it feels a little secure for you to move on to the next step. Okay. 
can cut that. All right, looks like we have a pretty secure hold enough to hot glue and apply our hair tie. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna hot glue the center of the back of the bow. That way we can apply our hair tie. So we're just gonna hold that there for a brief second so we can have a secure hold with the hot glue. You're gonna wanna wait for it to cool just a tad. And we can move on to applying the 3 8 ribbon. So, when I took a 3 8 ribbon, uh, what you can do with this also to add a little bit of profitability is actually add a strip of glitter flake. Um, if you have a vinyl cutter, it's, you can get a pretty precise cut uh, to apply to this. That way you just have more glitter added to the bow and something that a cheerleader or a dancer just won't be able to turn down. Um, but I'm actually just going to tie this in a knot just to add a little something to the front of the bow, make it look like it's actually tied. Okay, so we're going to flip this over, apply our glue gun, glue, hot glue to the front of the bow, and press down with the knot that we just tied from the 3 8 ribbon. I'm just going to hold that there so you feel like it has secured it there on the bow. Just gonna get some of this excess thread out of the way. Okay, so we should have a pretty secure ribbon. All right, so next we're going to bring this down over top of the hair tie that we applied to the back of the bow. So we're gonna take our hot glue gun again and put it down over top of the hair tie and just press down and hold until you feel that the glue is cooled off enough and secure. You can use other glue. I heard that uh, Gorilla glue, glue is a really good glue for this. That way you're not working with anything too hot if it's something that you don't prefer. Uh, the reason I choose to work with hot glue is because it just seems to have such a strong hold on there and whenever these bows are moving around in those girls' hair, you just want to make sure it's something that is going to not come apart. Okay, so we're going to bring our other ribbon and apply it to the center too. That way it is completely wrapped around the bow at this point. And again, we're just going to hold that there until it has a secured finish. Just going to cut the excess ribbon away. And the next step to finishing off our bow would be to cut the excess ribbon away. So um, I prefer spikes on the end of my bows. Some people like to cut them diagonally, um, but I'm going to show you typically how they're done for the cheerleading and dance world. Uh, so what you want to do is just take the center of this and fold it. That way you have an even cut down each side. Okay. I'm gonna line this up as much as possible. Okay, so you can see just how simple that was. If you're have if you ha I may have not have made it look so simple, but you can see um, how easy it would be if you have the right length of craft wire um, or just a zip tie. Um, it's definitely something I'm definitely going to want to try now. <laughs> but um, moving on to how you can sell these. So um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Josh Ellsworth here. Uh, him and his wife have actually sold these bows to several dance schools and cheerleading squads. And what they did was uh, made small versions of these and sent them out as samples. So just to get your name out there and showing prospects, uh, maybe something that you can offer them and what you can do for their cheerleading squad and just something hot that you can offer them that nobody else will. It's just sending them out samples, finding some local dance schools, cheerleading squads, or cheer gyms. 
Um, they will no girl can turn down these glitter hair bows. So anybody that you'd be interested in sharing these with, it's a great opportunity. Um, another opportunity with offering these is packaging them with different items. So here we have a drawstring bag that um, this would obviously package greatly with. And we also have a tank here that you can offer as well. So with this whole package here, you can't sell this less than $75. Um, and this bow is just $2 and some change to make, including the craft wire, the hot glue, the ribbon, and the pieces of glitter flake. And for you to sell the, the bow by itself, two color, full glitter, you're not looking at anything less than $25. So $2 and some change and $25, it's a huge profit, even if you just wanted to sell these separate. If you want to package them, $75 for all three. So you can see just the opportunity that would be in doing a business in hair bows. So with hair bows being said and talking about some schools, you start to get into some fan wear. Um, I'm not sure if, well, I'm sure all of you have seen or actually even own some of the oversized pom-pom or spirit wear jerseys by Boxer Craft or um, J America. So they offer, um, pom-pom jerseys like this if you haven't seen any. I'm sure you guys have seen a look like this in uh, Victoria's Secret. Um, with that being said, you can just see how popular they are. If it's in Victoria's Secret, it's crazy popular. Um, but not just a retail store. If you're going into um, a local school bookstore uh, for the university I go to, for instance, they have these things hanging everywhere and you can sell them so you can buy these blanks um, from Boxer, Qua Boxer Craft uh, for less than $15. Um, and we can offer you the things to make them. And I'm actually going to head back over to the heat press again and show you one of these looks and how you can offer this looks in a business also. So let me just grab my pre-cut glitter flake and head over to the heat press. So here we have our 16 by 20 platen. You're going to need uh, this platen for working with these large oversized designs. It's going to be the best way to apply your pre-cut design on such a large print area. Um, so I'm going to grab our pre-cut glitter flake here um, and just put the name of the mascot on the back. Uh, this is a perfect as example of um, something you would do for fan wear is just putting the mascot real big on the back and something complimentary on the front of the shirt also for a left chest logo, which I'll be showing you. So the easiest way to line this up is by folding it in half and just bending the, the um, top of it a little bit just so you know where your center is. Okay, so we found our center. All right, so we're going to push this over to the side real quick and apply our first side. Okay. Glitter flag again applies at 320 for 15 seconds. Let's get it down to 15. I'm also choosing Glitter Flake for this finish uh, just to show you some of the popular trends that people have been using on these oversized shirts. And you'll be able to see how nice the white finish looks up against the red. It just really pops. Okay, let's switch. Okay.
Now, one thing you want to take into consideration is whenever you, um, if you're considering getting into fan wear, um, you know that's going to involve a lot of schools. And we do have uh, the technology of being able to help you with this um, by offering you transfers to be able to reach such a large market. Um, when you get into large orders, you're going to find that sitting here and um, having to cut all these, if you own a vinyl cutter, it's just going to take up too much time when you're trying to reach such a large market. But that's quite OK. Uh, transfers come in very handy for that. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is whenever you are working with these, um, a, you do want to take advantage of all of the print, wear area, print areas. So um, being able to add to the front of the shirt, it's just going to add more profitability. So on this shirt, you can see here that um, a left chest logo on here is going to be a great um, profit for this. And it's just something that any student is just not going to be able to turn down. And it's just such a popular garment to offer. Um, as I mentioned earlier um, regarding the transfers, uh, we have a sister company called Transfer Express. And you can get screen printed transfers for these looks. Um, you're, this is something you want to take into consideration whenever uh, you're getting large orders from uh, any school that wants their um, school name on the back. Um, if you are getting into customization, obviously you want to stick with your vinyl cutter and work with it more. Um, but those are obviously going to be like lower runs. So for 50 to 100 shirts, glitter transfers that we offer for you or screen printed transfers from Transfer Express. Um, another great thing is everybody just loves screen print. You can see it in any retail store. It's just a huge profit right now. That screen print finish is um, a very great look and would be awesome on the back of this. So um, do we have any questions? No. OK. Um, if you guys have any questions, I urge you to ask them now. Um, but this is everything that um, I wanted to go over with you guys. If uh, turning your hobby into a business is something you guys have been considering for a long time, I've just given you three out of many options that you guys can get into to help grow a little more. Um, but uh, if you guys are considering it, um, there's so many options for you. And I really urge you to do that. Stalls has all of the technologies that uh, you may not have right now or may look into getting, such as like a vinyl cutter, um, stepping up from just a craft cutter to something larger to just grow capacity and be able to handle more orders. Um, we can just send you. Uh, the transfers that you need. We do a lot of custom work for you. So um, just I urge you, if it's something that you've been planning on doing, do it. We have a great customer service team that would uh, be able to answer all of your questions. So if you guys have any questions regarding any of the products here, please email me at jenna.sackett at stalls.com. And thank you for joining me today.